Your Excellency, Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, Prime Minister of the State of Israel, Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji, Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to today's ceremony where nine documents will be exchanged. First is an MOU on Cyber Security Cooperation to be exchanged on the Israeli side by Mr. Yuval Rotham, Director General, Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Israel and on the Indian side by Shri Vijay Gokhale, Secretary Economic Relations. <laughs> Second, MOU between the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas and the Ministry of Energy on Cooperation in Oil and Gas Sector to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kamen and Sri Vijay Gokhale, Secretary Economic Relations. Third, protocol on amendments to the air transport agreement to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kamen and Sri Vijay Gokhale, Sri, sorry, Sri Rajiv Nayan Chaube, Secretary, Ministry of Civil Aviation. Fourth, agreement on full co-production to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kamen and Shri N.K. Sinha, Secretary, Ministry of Information and Broadcasting. <laughs> Fifth, MOU between the Central Council for Research in Homeopathy, Ministry of Ayush, and the Center for Integrative Complementary Medicine, Sharesh Redik Medical Center on Cooperation in the Field of Research in Homeopathic Medicine, to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kalman and Sri Vedya Rajesh Kotecha, Secretary, Ministry of Ayush. Sixth, MOU between the Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology and the Technion Israeli Institute of Technology for Cooperation in the Field of Space to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Karman and Dr. V. K. Dadwal, Director of IIST. <laughs> Seventh, letter of intent between Invest India and Invest in Israel to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Karman and Sri Deepak Bagla, Managing Director and CEO Invest India. Eighth, letter of intent between IOCL and Finergy Limited for cooperation in the area of metal air batteries to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kalman and Sri Sanjeev Singh, Chairman IOCL. Ninth, letter of intent between IOCL and Yeda Research and Development Corporation Limited for cooperation in the area of concentrated solar thermal technologies to be exchanged by Ambassador Daniel Kalman and Sri Sanjeev Singh, Chairman IOCL. Excellencies, this concludes the agreement exchange ceremony. I request my colleague, the spokesperson of the Ministry of External Affairs, to conduct the proceedings from here on. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I welcome you all to this press event. To begin the proceedings, may I request the Honorable Prime Minister of India to deliver his statement to the media. 
Your Excellency, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Srimati Sara Netanyahu, members of the media, it is a great, great pleasure to welcome Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on his first ever visit to India. Yedidi Hayakar Barukim Barukim Hawaiam Le Hod My good friend, welcome to India. Your visit, Prime Minister, is a long anticipated moment in the journey of friendship between India and Israel. Your visit is also a fitting climax to the commemoration of 25th year of diplomatic relations between India and Israel. As our first honored guest in 2018, your visit marks a special beginning to our New Year calendar. It comes at an especially auspicious time as people are all over India are rejoicing the arrival of spring, renewal hope, and harvest. The festivals of Lori, Bihu, Makar Sakranti, and Pongal celebrate the splendor of India's diversity and unity. Friends, last year in July, I carried the greetings and friendship of 1.25 billion Indians during my momentous journey to Israel. In return, I was overwhelmed by the generous affection and warmth of the Israeli people led by my friend Bibi. In that visit, Prime Minister Netanyahu and I promised each other and our people to build a strategic partnership of hope and trust and progress, of diverse and cutting edge cooperation, and of joint endeavors and shared successes. Such a promise flows as much from the natural affinity and friendship that have linked us for centuries, and it does from the compelling win-win case for engagement in almost all spheres. And it is a measure of our shared ambition and commitment that six short months after that visit, your extraordinary visit is taking place to India. Today and yesterday, Prime Minister Netanyahu and I reviewed the progress in our relations and renewed our conversation on the possibilities and the opportunities that beckon us and need to be seized. Our discussions were wide-ranging and intensive. They were marked by the desire to do more. Prime Minister, I have a reputation of being impatient in getting results. If I may let out an open secret, I know that so are you. Last year in Tel Aviv, you had expressed the intent to cut down bureaucratic red tape with a machete and forge ahead with speed. Prime Minister, I am happy to tell you that in India, we are well on our way to doing just that. We have imparted our shared impatience to the implementation of our earlier decisions. The results are already visible on the ground. Our discussions today were marked by convergence to accelerate our engagement and to scale scale up our partnership. 
we will pursue this in three ways first we will strengthen the existing pillars of cooperation in area that touch the lives of our people these are agriculture science and technology and security we exchange views on scaling up the centers of excellence that have been a mainstay of agriculture cooperation by bringing in advanced israeli practices and technology in defense i have invited israeli companies to take advantage of the liberalized fdi regime to make more in india with our companies second we are venturing into less explored areas of cooperation such as oil and gas cyber security films and startups you will find this reflected in the agreements that we are just exchange several of these areas are indicative of our desire to diversify and broad based engagement and third we are committed to facilitate the flow of people and ideas between our geographies it requires policy facilitation infrastructure and connectivity links and fostering constituency of support beyond government we are working with israel to make it easier for our people to work and visit each other's countries including for longer work durations to bring people closer on both sides an indian cultural center will soon open in israel we have also decided to start an annual exchange of bilateral visits by 100 young people from science related educational streams friends thriving to bet trade and investment is an integral part of our vision for a strong partnership prime minister netanyahu and i agree on the need to do more in this direction after the meeting in tel aviv last year we will interact for the second time with our ceos under the bilateral forum i welcome the large business component that prime minister netanyahu has brought along with him prime minister netanyahu and i also exchange perspectives on the regional and global situation we reviewed our cooperation as a factor for stability and peace in our region and the world friends yesterday as its first stop over stop after touching indian soil prime minister netanyahu joined me at the renamed teen murti haifa chowk to pay homage to the memory of the brave indian soldiers who laid down their lives a century ago in the battle of haifa in israel we are both countries that have never forgotten our history and our heroes and we deeply appreciate this gesture by prime minister netanyahu as we look to the future of this exciting partnership with israel i am filled with hope and optimism in prime minister netanyahu i have a counterpart who is equally committed to taking the india israel relationship to soaring new heights finally i am delighted to have the chance to be with you prime minister in my home and yourself uh, excellency in my home state gujarat day after there we will have another opportunity to see the fulfillment of the promise which our mutual cooperation holds in diverse area such as agriculture technology and innovation i wish prime minister netanyahu and mrs netanyahu and the delegation a memorable stay in india thank you thank you very much toda raba thank you sir may i now request the prime minister of israel to deliver his remarks to the media 
Thank you, my friend, Prime Minister Modi Narendra. Thank you for your exceptional friendship and hospitality that you showed me, my wife, our delegation. I was deeply moved today in the celebration at the ceremony. Uh, it was um, an expression not only of the honor you showed me, but the honor you show the people of Israel and the state of Israel. You are a revolutionary leader in the best sense of the word revolution. You are revolutionizing India. You're catapulting this magnificent state into the future. And you have revolutionized the relationship between Israel and India. I'm the son of a historian. Our people have had thousands of years of history. India and Israel are two of the most ancient civilizations on Earth. And yet, it is an amazing fact that until you visited Israel, no leader of India in 3,000 years of our own sovereign existence and our history has visited Israel. You are the first leader of a state, of an India state, to do this. Uh, so it was a groundbreaking visit. It excited the imaginations of uh, all Israelis and, of course, of uh, the many Israelis of Indian descent, of origin, who came and were, how shall I say this? Uh, well, I thought I was in a rock concert. <laughs> but it was a historic event as well. Uh, we are ushering today a new era in our relations. We've had diplomatic relations for 25 years, but, um, but something different is happening now because of your leadership and because of our partnership. Uh, there are three things that bind our countries together. The first is that uh, we have an ancient past. The second is that we have a vibrant present. And the third is that we are seizing together a promising future. We are proud of our past, our rich histories, our people's contributions to human civilization in language and literature, in mathematics and medicine, in philosophy and faith. The greatest texts that human beings produced are in Sanskrit and in Hebrew. None greater and none more enduring. And we never forget this. More recently, you mentioned just a century ago, brave Indian soldiers played a vital role in the liberation of the state of Israel and the land of Israel. This led to our independence. And yesterday I was again deeply moved as we paid tribute to these brave Indian fighters and commanders who gave their lives in that historic fight. We honor their memory as you mark today Indian Army Day. We are proud of our present, of our resilient democracies. Our people are free to say what they want, do what they want, believe what they want. And these values and our diversity are not a source of our weakness, but the source of our strength. Evidence of this abounds in India, where you hear a symphony of dozen, dozens of languages and dialects, and where Jews, and you mentioned this yesterday, Prime Minister, you mentioned the fact that makes India stand out in the community of nations, because over 2,000 years, the Jews of India have never experienced anti-Semitism as our people experience in so many other lands. This is a tribute to your civilization, to your tolerance, to your humanity. Israelis and Indians are bound by the kinship of free peoples, but I believe that democracy cannot be taken for granted. Despite the doubts, despite the challenges, India and Israel are living proof, not only that democracy works, but they demonstrate something deeper, the intrinsic value of freedom, which I believe is the intrinsic value of life. Citizens thrive. Ultimately, it is the free citizens who thrive because they are free and when they are free. Finally, we are proud 
that we are seizing the future so we can make a better life for our peoples and for others around the world. Our commitment to do so is reflected in the manifold agreements that we signed today, in cyber, in aviation, in energy, even in cinema. My wife and I are very happy that we're going to Bollywood. <laughs> We'd like to see it firsthand, uh, and so many other areas. Israel is a fountainhead of innovation. It's a global force of technology. India abounds with creativity, with ingenuity, with scientists, with mathematicians. And I think that when we join our respective talents together, we can achieve tremendous things for our people. We can actually achieve, you say we want more. Prime Minister Modi and I are the same. We want more for our people. We want it now. We want it yesterday. But one of the things that Israel brings to this world of innovation is that we achieve more with less. More crops with less water. More energy with less expenditure of, of money. More with less. We want more, a lot more, and we can do that even more productively by cooperating. When you and I walked uh, shoeless along the Mediterranean shore, we drank seawater that was purified before our eyes using technology that will save untold lives. India and Israel are working together to provide clean water, to increase crop yields, to keep our people safe from terrorism and other challenges to the future we both seek. You mentioned the areas, agriculture, where I presented to Prime Minister Modi uh, an idea of revolutionizing Indian agriculture as we're revolutionizing Israeli agriculture. Precision agriculture that goes down to the individual plant. Some plants need more water, some less. We can see it today with big data, with drones, with other instruments of technology to make farmers produce much more crops, more crops with less. We're talking about cooperation in science and technology in every field, and we're talking about cooperation in defense so that our people are always safe and always secure. Indians and Israelis know too well the pain of terrorist attacks. We remember the horrific savagery in Mumbai. We grit our teeth. We fight back. We never give in. My friend, last night, you again showed us your tremendous hospitality. And when you hosted Sarah and me at your home so graciously, it was brilliantly lit, illuminated by the national colors of India and Israel. And I thought at that moment about your honesty, your passion, your vision, your commitment. And it fills me with hope Hope that this new era of India-Israel relations will bring unprecedented benefits to India, to Israel, to all humanity. And finally, and this is perhaps the most important statement that I can make here, my friend Narendra, anytime you want to do a yoga class with me, it's a big stretch, but I'll be there. Test me. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Excellency, for your statement. This concludes the press event. Thank you all for joining.